عندي دليل اوبس But yeah, I'm doing a video um, right now. Um, I haven't really done any live videos in a long time. But that's what I'm going to do today. So, I want to talk about the fact that people keep talking about like, racism. And I never understand this. Like, why are you talking about racism like this? In this regard, you know about Trump when we all know about Biden like to me it doesn't make any sense you know they kept trying to say do you denounce um racist or denounce white supremacists or whatever in the debate because this is basically I'm gonna do my debate I guess take on debate on the debate second part two basically and it's like, to me, I'm like, well, okay, we're asking Trump if he denounces white supremacists. What has Trump done that implied he was ever for white supremacists? Every time he speaks, you always come up with different racist things to say. Honestly, this is the truth. Because, like, I mean, I've seen some people try and act like, you know, uh, like, when he says, it'll mess up your sur suburbs, why do you always bring up black people and act like black people are the ones who uh, don't live in suburbs? You never said anything about black people. You did. And that's what I mean. When you start talking about, like, black people and stuff of that nature, and you expect other people to say that he's racist, you're the one who came up with thinking about race when you heard about suburbs. When he said something about the suburbs. If he's saying somebody's going to ruin your suburbs, that doesn't mean that he's saying uh, black people against white people, unless you're assuming that black people don't live in suburbs, and we all come from the ghetto. And it's like, we don't all come from the ghetto. You're just being racist again. You always say people are being racist, but then the only one who's being racist is the one who's coming to that conclusion. It's like, I never understand it. And then, like, they'll say, like, stuff like, um, what he said with Charlottesville and saying that he, um, he was saying some are good people. No, he actually specifically said Antifa and white supremacists, um, he did not side with them. But on both sides, there were good people outside of the white supremacists and Antifa people. So he never appreciated white supremacists. And honestly, if you look at the Republican Party, they le are less likely to support white supremacists. I will tell you why I think that. Because to me, for me, I notice that a lot of people always try and act like, you know, Republicans are more likely to be um, racist or whatever. And I never understand that. Because it's like, now, when was the last time we saw any Racist, like what Republican supported by white supremacists in politics, you know, politicians that were white supremacists that were Republican that support other Republicans. Why did the last time that happen? Hasn't happened, I don't think, in this whole decade or probably in more decades to come. Um, I'd say. I know, I know, I can think of some people that were for the Democrat side, though. I mean, let's just use, oh, Barack. <laughs> um, let's just use the example of, what's his name? Biden. He is supported by white supremacists. You know, and you're like, what? You're really not thinking. You're not really thinking of the fact that he supports what he's supported by white supremacists. I would like, I would really like, I would have liked Chris Wallace to ask this question. Would Joe Biden denounce the white supremacists that supports him in the Senate, in the Congress? Or in the, uh, the or a governor. Like I would like 
him to just ask him that question. I'm pretty sure he wouldn't even know what he's talking about, even though, I mean, there's so much, you know, it really is. There's so many people, so many people who are, you know, um, racist or say racist things. First, I'm going to start off. He's supported, endorsed, and, you know, embraced by a well-known white supremacist, blackface, Northam. Do we have any Republicans in blackface? Do we have any Republicans in blackface? Yeah, if they were, they wouldn't have their jobs anymore. You know, this is the thing with Democrats. They do racist stuff and they keep their jobs. Because it's acceptable on their side to be racist. It is. That's what they accept. Republicans, they don't accept that kind of behavior. They will step down. They will not support people like that. It is not acceptable for Republicans to be racist. But it is very acceptable for Democrats to be racist. That's what's so uh, sad and terrible about it. You know, it is. It's really sad that that's the case. I mean, like, it shouldn't be that way. Racism should not be tolerated among politicians, people who are lawmakers. I mean, come on now, you know, and um, it's just sad that that is acceptable. It is an acceptable thing in our country, but that's what I've just noticed is that plenty of the time people don't pay attention to that fact that, you know, there's racism among, you know, the politicians that support, you know, Biden. I don't think there's a racist politician that supports Trump. People will call people racist and stuff, and it's so quite obvious that they're not. Like, people will call, like, Amy Coney Barrett racist, adopted a black child, call McConnell racist, uh, he's got a woman of color as his wife. I mean, like, you guys always are trying to call Republicans racist off of nothing, you know? But you'll try and call someone racist, who, not racist, I'm saying, say they're not racist, they're po totally for black people, but they're in blackface. Oh, they're so totally respectable, they're totally fine, but they said that black people should be aborted. Sanders, um, I mean, come on now. Of the people who have run for president, outside of the black guy, I'm not adding Obama, even though, I mean, like, there's some stuff that he says, but we'll leave it out because he's black. And so I'll just leave that out. Um, but everyone who's run for president, Sanders, Hillary Clinton, Biden, they've all said racist stuff. And, I mean, like, even Romney didn't even say anything racist on the Republican side. Amazingly, even though Mormons are actually kind of racist. Like, they're some of the beliefs they have are not very sensitive to black people. But anyway, he didn't even say anything racist. Um, among Republican, uh, the Republican side, you don't see that. Trump didn't say anything racist against black people, you know. He's never said anything. They say he says stuff like, it's like nationalists, you know. And it's like, that starts another idea. It's like, just like the other one with the suburbs, okay? You say suburbs means something, and that's in your head, you know? You think suburbs means, you know, basically people who are white. And it's so silly, because it's like, you don't know that white people live in poor neighborhoods. And you don't know black people live in rich neighborhoods and middle class upper middle class, poor neighborhoods, you understand, and this thing I just want to point out, that in every economic status, black people are never the majority, so why do you always associate the worst with black people? Maybe it's your mind and your way of thinking that you want to think of black people so negatively, honestly. Um, but Back to what I was saying, I mean, like, I just think that, I mean, people say that Trump is racist, but he's never said anything racist against black people, you know? I've never seen him say anything racist against black people, ever. Like, nothing that, that he said has offended me as a black person. People say stuff like national 
stuff, nation stuff, I'm trying to say, like nationalities. And it's like, not really, because if you really think that a black American is the same as a Haitian, then to you, you're letting in that you think black means everything, you know, black American, black African, black Caribbean, we're all the same. You come from the same ideas and the same racist ideas as Biden. Maybe that's why you support him, because you're racist, not because you're not racist. And that's what I mean. Like, other people who have run for president, like, for example, Hillary Clinton with her statement with the super predators, like the statement with um, Sanders and how he said that black people, like white people never have been basically fugitives of the law or um, live in poverty, live off the government, things of that nature. Like he basically made black people into this stereotype. And I understand, he just has those racist views, and then people would actually agree with him that we're black, and that was so sad, because their self-esteem is completely in the tubes. Like, it's completely in the tubes. Somebody's got to save it, because that, that's all gone right there. Then Biden, goodness, Biden is so racist. He's not just normal racist, in my opinion. He's racist beyond racist. Like, you know, Sanders is just normal racist. Hillary's normal racist, you know. But Biden, goodness. He couldn't refrain from being racist against his own boss. His own boss. Like, you can't even not be racist towards your own black boss. This is a lot. It just does. I mean, remember he said the statement that, you know, he, like, he basically implied that he was the only black person who was somewhat. So he said somewhat. He did not say who was not. He said somewhat clean, articulate, um, clean, articulate, attractive, and um, smart. And so, I mean, you even him, you say somewhat. So you're not even saying he's even completely. And you're saying all black people are not clean, are not articulate, are not smart, and, you know, they're not attractive. Yeah, I mean, you just basically said that all black people are dumb, ugly, unattractive, and dirty. That's just really, 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 like, dirty? Seriously. What kind of, like, I, most racist people, they don't go that far. That's like old school racist kind of lingo there. Just saying. So, uh, to me, I mean, like, you're saying that Trump is racist, or that I should be, as a black American, offended. Like, Trump hasn't said anything negative about black Americans from what I've seen. All the quotes and all everything people say he said negatively, there were negative comments, but they weren't about me. They weren't about black American women. They weren't about black American men. They weren't about us. They just weren't. And you want me to vote for a guy who said I was dirty, dumb, unattractive, and inarticulate. If I did that, and any black person who does that has co-signed and agreed that they are dumb, unattractive, inarticulate, and dirty, Dirty. Come on now. Seriously. I mean, no, 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 no. I, I mean, like, you really think that he, I'm really going to focus on another guy being racist when this guy said that? You really think I'm going to really think he's not racist when during this year he says so many racist things again? Maybe not to that same extent that that was in his head, and it's still in his head, because just because he said sorry doesn't mean he doesn't think that. No, that was what slipped out of his head. That's what's in his head. That's how he is. 
on top of it, I mean, like, you, the things he said, he said that, you know, poor kids are just as good as white kids. Like, what does that mean? You really think that white people are never poor? Come on now. They're actually the majority of poor people in America. Most poor people are actually white. Yeah, I know people always try and do the percentage of every race to show who's more likely to be poor. But they don't actually do the whole population of poor people and then actually divide the demographics. The demographics of the poor population is mostly white. That's just how it is. Just like every other economic standing, which makes sense because most white people are, I mean, most people in America are white, you know, so it's kind of like without a given. Um, so, I mean, like, to me, I just don't understand that, you know, I really don't understand that with, um, Biden, it's like, he said racist stuff like that, he said other racist stuff, like, saying that if you're not black, you, uh, I mean, if you don't vote for him, you're not black, you know, and, like, if you, um, if you're black, you don't have any diversity or anything, you know, we're all the same, Hispanics have more variety, I mean, come on now, he always says racist thing after racist thing after racist thing, and the last two are specific, they're very, like, you take note of that, you take note of that because of the other stuff that he said in the past, and you put it together, because it's not, all the same person with the same thoughts, you know what I mean? So he thinks, and it makes sense, it's a continuum. He thinks from the beginning of what he said, that we were dirty, we were dumb, inarticulate, and unattractive. He said that, you know, all black people are that way, right? Come to the next thing, he's like, you're not black if you don't vote for me same narrow-minded view of black people like you got to do be this 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 way to be black next thing there is no variety with black people which goes straight right back to the other thing of him saying we're dirty dumb unattractive and inarticulate so i mean you put those together you're saying we don't have any variety and where all these things, it goes together. It's a continuum thought. He had the same ideas. They're just sometimes coming out into the public, which, of course, he doesn't want them to, you know. Who would want them to? I mean, if you're racist and, you know, your racist views aren't really celebrated in your country, of course you have to hide them. So, yeah. I mean, like you're saying that Trump is racist or he fails to denounce white supremacy but biden has white supremacist politicians that support him so i mean why isn't he denouncing the white supremacists that support him that's what i want to know I want to know how and why we just focus on Trump and the Proud Boys when the Proud Boys aren't even racist. They don't even deal with, they're not even dealing with race. They're talking about some Western values and they're just far right. There's nothing wrong with being far right. If far left is okay, far right is okay. All different ideologies are fine. You just close minded when you act like that. Saying that they dealt with people who were racist or whatever, they dealt with them in 2017. And then they parted ways with them because they were racist. And they didn't really focus on race. They're not racist. So that's what I mean. People acting like this is nonsense. It's really nonsense saying all this stuff. I mean, we all know anyway, with Trump and his family, he's not. They, like, they'd be racist against his family because some of his family is part Jewish. So white supremacists don't support Trump. And if someone randomly does, it's just because of a common interest in something else. Like, say, someone wants the economy to be good. 
you know, they like his economy strategies, you know, and, you know, they like that kind of kind of, that kind of capitalism, you know. And I mean, like, they're allowed to have their opinions. I don't really judge anybody. That's their business. But it's not on his views because he doesn't have racist views like that. Saying that he has views that are patriotic to this country, that isn't specific to a specific race. And the only one who sees it as specific to a certain race is the liberal left because they see white as America. And that's because of your racist ideas of black people and America. So that doesn't have to do with Trump. That's not his fault that you're racist. You need to fix your racism. Your party's all filled with racists. Uh, you got racists, like I said, Biden's a big racist, obviously, calling black people dirty, dang it, calling black people dirty, that's pretty bad. And I mean, like, having blackface politicians, democratic politicians supporting him, having politicians who said that Africans should be aborted, I mean, come on now, come on now, obviously. If anyone is racist, it's Biden. So, basically, what I came to a conclusion after the last debate was, no, Trump is not racist. I do wish he would have addressed many issues to Biden that he didn't mention when it came to race. He kind of just seemed like he was off his game fighting on that, in my opinion. I like a lot of what he did that day, but not that. Um, I do think that one part of it, the first time he called him racist and stuff, he started trying to talk about the First Step Act, which I hate, you know. I hate it because it's like, one, it has nothing to do with black people. We're not criminals. And trying to act like we're criminals is basically racist because you're basically trying to say that we all come from, like, we have trouble with the law. We don't have trouble with the law, you know. That's not a part of our lives. It's not a part of being black, you know. That's just a stereotype that a lot of liberals adopted. And, yeah, I don't know. So, I mean, like, him trying to address that to counteract other things is like, no. He's done a lot of other stuff, like, for our, our black colleges and stuff, you know. He's helped out with those and many other things that he's done for the black community. He's He's basically a very much, he's very much an equal opportunity and more like a president for everybody, you know? Not just like, I'm a president who's, well, Biden, in my opinion, wouldn't be a president for anyone because he's not capable of really being president in that regard, I don't think. I don't think he's really able to handle those issues because most of his plans are mostly seemingly... Sanders' ideas. Not really, like, his plans, at least they're not really as moderate as he used to be, or maybe he just ran to the left. Either way, they're pretty crazy. Um, and I don't agree with him because I'm a conservative. So, that's just generally how I feel on the whole topic. It's just like, I don't, I do not, you know, um, I do not really support anything that Obviously, Biden has said, obviously, but I also think that Biden, you know, should answer the question on why he, he accepts support from white supremacists, why he has racist ideas about black people, and why he's basically seen black people in such a negative light for so many years. and really refuses to change, and I don't think he will change. I mean, this has been going on for decades. He even said originally how he didn't want the schools to be segregated because he thought there would be a school jungle or integrated jungle or whatever. Um, so, I mean, like, I don't know. To me, these bullcrap people saying about Trump being racist, like, it's not racist against me, so I don't care, one, and secondarily, it's like, Biden, you know, he said all these things, 
people try and ignore it, get upset that you ignore it, I mean, that you're not ignoring it, and it's like, he said all these things negative about black people, and you think that I would vote for him, why? He's the one who's been racist, I've never been offended by Trump, I've only been offended by Biden, so... How do you, how, like I said, if I were to vote for Biden, I'd be basically saying, yes, black people are all the same. We're not black if we don't vote for you. I am dirty, dumb, unattractive, and inarticulate. That's what I'd be saying if I voted for Biden. I do not agree with that, so I would never do that. And I feel sorry for any black person who does it, because that's what they co-signed. And that's probably how you're going to end up being treated under his administration. So that's all I have to say, and I am done. Thank you. Bye. Bye.